This Ag News update brought to you by American Implement. Indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, a check of Ag News. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time, and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build, and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical, and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. In Ag News, the EPA has announced the interim decision for atrazine, marking the end of the registration review process and clearing the way for continued use of a key herbicide for Kansas farmers. The Kansas Corn Growers Association, a founding member of the Triazine Network, that's a coalition of organizations from a variety of crops across the nation that advocate for science-based regulatory decisions for triazine herbicides. Kansas Corn Grower Association CEO Greg Krissick said the announcement is a positive step forward for atrazine. That's a product that provides needed weed control and is a valued tool in conservation tillage practices like uh, no-till farming. The registration review has been underway since 2013 and the decision a positive outcome for growers. Atrazine still ranks second in widely used herbicides at help farmers control weeds that rob crops of water and nutrients. It's been utilized now for over 60 years, and atrazine is the most researched herbicide in history and has a proven uh, safety record. The announcement concludes a registration review process where EPA is required to periodically reevaluate existing pesticides under the Federal Insecticide, Fungicide, and Rodenticide Act, or FIFRA, the next step for the triazines is a draft biological evaluation that is required under the Endangered Species Act, which is expected to be published in the coming days. More in a moment. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. SNS Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all new, all aluminum Mauer grain trailer with all of the electric options, the easy to load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. SNS Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the and. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has extended its hours of service waiver through the end of 2020 for livestock haulers in response to the nationwide coronavirus pandemic. This exemption was due to expire in mid-September, but it's now been extended through December 31st. Livestock feed haulers are also included in this extension, but only those that are transporting finished feed. If you're hauling feed ingredients, you are ineligible for that waiver. So if you're a driver and wishing to haul under this exemption, you should print and keep a copy of the emergency declaration in your cab. And in case you missed it, USDA will use up to $14 billion in available Commodity Credit Corporation funds to provide CFAP2 payments to farmers and ranchers for COVID-19 relief. 
This funding would also provide an additional shot to the Farmers to Families Food Box program. Sign up for CFAP is now open through December 11th of this year. Now payments will be based on 2020 planted acres. That will exclude the prevent planting and experimental acres if you have some. Payments will be equal to the greater of the eligible acres multiplied by a payment rate of $15 an acre or the eligible acres multiplied by a nationwide crop marketing percentage multiplied then by a crop specific payment rate and then the producers weighted 2020 APH or actual production history. You can find more online at several different places. Uh, folks like uh, the American Farm Bureau Federation has worked on a uh, plan to uh, look at all those numbers. Stay with us. More coming up. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. Day and night, till the job is done, Teeter is the one that works for you. Fields of green, reaching toward the sun, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter is the one, Teeter is the one that works for you. Teeter Irrigation, your source for water management. 1030 KBUF brings you ag information every day beginning just a little bit after 6 o'clock. And throughout the day, we have market updates, ag information, and more. You can be social with us online at westernkansasnews.com. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.